Hello everyone. Whoa. Hello everyone. The Foxern here. And today I want to talk about movies. Why? Well, I'll get back to you on that, but <laughs> the point is uh I well, I like to consider myself um sort of a a movie buff. Uh meaning well, to me a a movie buff is somebody who either knows a lot about movies or watches a lot of movies and therefore knows a lot about the movies that they watch. Um, that's to me. Uh, that's kind of what it means to me. Um, or a movie buff can focus on a specific movie, uh, which there are lots of them as well. People go crazy for one movie and that's pretty much all they'll ever do. Um, But, uh, for me, uh, a movie buff is just somebody, or, well, the mo kind that I am is I watch a lot of movies. And in doing so, I, in some people's opinion, I waste a lot of time. But, frankly, if it's time spent entertaining yourself, it's not really time wasted, now is it? Uh, anyways, the reason that I bring this all up uh, is because today I saw the the new Pirates of the Caribbean, Pirates of the Caribbean 4 uh, on Stranger Tides, and I thought it was a very good movie. It it truly was. I liked how it went. I liked the direction of it all, and I quite enjoyed it. It really got back to the basics of the first movie. I'm not saying anything about it because there are those of you who've probably not seen it or and those of you who are refusing to see it just because it's another Disney movie or because it's a fourth one and we don't need a fourth one in your opinion. That's perfectly fine. I'm not going to talk specifically on that movie because that's not the whole point. The whole point of this the point is, I like movies. That's... <laughs> I've, I've said it before, but I've never really uh, expanded on what kinds of movies I like. Uh, now, I'm sure there are plenty of you who can guess um, after watching my videos and kind of learning about who I, who I am and you find that I tend to lean more towards the cutesy type movies and and you're right to assume that because I kind of do um, not because of the fact that they're cutesy but the fact that something about them has really grabbed my attention and uh, while I talk, I'm going to explore this desert. I should have dropped off that clay, but I'm going to explore this desert as I talk. And that's why I headed over here. Um, but you will notice that I, I, I tend to want to view cutesy movies. I have no idea what happens when I walk off the edge of the map. I want to... Okay, I just vanish. Okay. Huh, mystery solved. Um, so, um, yes, I tend to go more towards the cutesy movies. Um, one of my all-time favorites was Wally, or is Wally. I uh, I adored that movie and still adore it to this day. And in fact, when I'm bored and there and I can't find anything to watch, I will go and watch Wally or Tangled or. <clears throat> <clears throat> one of the um, many others that I like, but I'm not all for the cutesy movie. I do like the actions movies. Um, I scare too easily. I don't like horror. I, I don't. I'll 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 watch a, th a thriller now and then, but 
um, not a horror movie. They, they, they try too hard to scare you, and it works. Um, just because they use lame tactics, like, um, just, they use surprise tactics, as I like to see, where you're just, it's a calm moment, nothing's happening, and then all of a sudden, BAM! Something jumps out of something, and somebody's dead, or something like that. Um, <clears throat> and those movies I don't like, um, for just the main reason that I scare really easily, and I, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't like being scared. It's not one of the things I find fun. Some people like being scared. I understand that, and that's who those movies are made for. And the movies have had to be more drastic because, well, they're desensitizing themselves. And so they're able to just know. And the thing, uh, the other thing is that uh, I don't want to say it this way, but I can't think of any other way to put it. The more, um, I suppose I should say intellectual people, but that's not right. I can't find the word that I'm trying to figure out. Um, but uh, they recognize the patterns, and therefore they stop being scared because they can predict like, they've seen the situation just hundreds of times, they know exactly what's going to happen, and there's no way you can surprise them anymore. Um, and they are in utter, um, actually a great use of the word, desensitized to it. They cannot be scared by those movies anymore, because they for all intents and purposes, do not scare them. And so they seek out more extremes to try and scare themselves. Now I'm talking about the people who like being scared. The people who do not like being scared, like me, well, we can enjoy a thriller movie where there's it's intense, there's some um, uh, scare tactics, and but overall... It's not what the movie is about. Um, bringing it back to movies that I do like, I do love action movies. Not just run and gun, stupid, you've seen it a hundred times movies, but actual action movies. Um, some of my all, really my all time, um, f well, pretty much my all time favorite action movie movies series really is Die Hard and now I'm, I'm sure there are people I don't even know why I keep looking at this map I'm not on it anymore I'm sure there are people um, watching this right now who don't like Die Hard and I can respect that I understand it's not for everybody it's it's a movie um, pitted against itself I want to say it took a risk when it was made. I'm just making myself a bed so that I can sleep and because I don't want to explore in the nighttime. Um essentially there when Die Hard first came out, uh, there were no movies like it. It was a one of a kind movie. There have been since then many movies like Die Hard. But Die Hard kind of coined its own series. I know there are movies that Die Hard was um, <clears throat> sort of based on, like what they wanted to do. Oh, here's another lava pool. Um, but Die Hard was, I, I don't want to say perfection, but it was a damn good movie. Um, John McClane, Officer John McClane, or Detective now, technically, last movie, and there is going to be a next movie, uh, another movie to it. What is in here? I, I must explore this. There's grass down here. That's weird. But um, there is going to be another movie, and for those of you who don't like Die Hard, I'm sure there are some of you. Um, 
not sure if you actually watch my channel, but that bit of sand is floating. I'm going over to it. But um, there is another Die Hard movie, and it is uh, Bru uh, Bruce Willis. I want to say Bruce Willis. Yes. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm tired. I'm recording this before I go to bed and setting it to render so that I can upload it tomorrow. Um, anyways, but he is going to be in the movie, but he is not going to be the main character. Now, those of you who, like me, just love Die Hard, or at least like it in some manner or another, might be a little annoyed at this. Because he made the series, essentially. If it had been somebody else, it wouldn't be have been as good. Um... I did not expect to be talking about Die Hard this long. Um, moving on. But, I don't know, I, I can't remember who they were going to get to play him instead, but it won't. I, 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 I have high hopes for it, because it has the same director as the fourth movie, and, um, and he's still going to be a part of it. He's just not going to be the main person, and he's, and his character off, um, uh, Detective John McClane is going to be in the movie, thankfully. And uh, what he's going to be doing, I don't know. If this is going to be um, sort of like... I, I honestly have no idea what this movie is going to be. Um, but I do have fairly high hopes for it. Um, just because of... it. It's, hey. it's a franchise. It's... And I'm hoping that it lives true to its franchise, that it doesn't try to be something else. Okay, now, moving on. Uh, now, um, of course, I, I like other action movies, uh, but shooters are, or shoot 'em up movies, as they kind of are, are kind of my favorite, just because they do get intense. And, but I don't like it where the hero's just invincible. That's... Uh, I'm going to have to bring it back to Die Hard again. But that's what I really liked about Die Hard, is by the end of the movie, he was absolutely trashed. Like, could hardly walk trash. Whereas in a lot of movies, it's just like, hero is pretty much unscathed throughout the the whole the the movie and its entirety and it just doesn't feel right to me it's like i don't know it just doesn't feel as good um but i mean i i, I just i like movies i do i really do and it's like I watch documentaries. I don't just watch that uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, Planet Earth was absolutely amazing. I loved watching that, even though, well, it can be considered a movie, I suppose. Um, but uh, Planet Earth, am I back on the map? I am not. Um, <clears throat> that's the only documentary that I that I watched recently, um, or watched again recently, I should say. Um, uh, but other movies, I mean, like Tron, when Tron Legacy was announced, I was absolutely ecstatic. Um, I l loved Tron. I liked, like, I, I loved Tron. That was an awesome movie, and I think that they did a very good job in the sequel. And, um, I'm not afraid to say it. I know that people didn't agree with the sequel, didn't like the sequel, for some reason or another, but I mean, I I saw it seven times in the theater, and I'm just gonna leave it at that because if you go and see a movie seven times in the theater, you you like that movie, you love that movie, you adore that movie, you you would do anything for that movie. <laughs> well, most anything. I wouldn't do anything for that movie, but. Yeah. Did it? No, it's still up here. 
these sheep. I'm, I, I don't know why I'm collecting wool. It's become a force of habit, actually, is to just run around and collect wool. Oh, come on. Drop your stupid... Um, it's a habit, really, to just um, smack sheep as I go. Or go a little bit out of my way to smack a sheep. I mean, if there's one way over on that cliff face and I'm walking and I need to go that way, I'm not going to stop and go bet it, bet, back to get it. But if it's a little detour, yeah, that sheep is smacked. Like, um, just for, just because I know wool is useful and it, and it'll have more uses. Oh, I'm back on the map. Awesome. But, uh, you can see the stuff. Hold on a minute. You can see my stuff. But, anyways, movies. I I do. I love movies. Um, pretty much when I'm not watching my music channel, I'm watching a movie. Uh, I, I make it a point to try and see at least one new movie every week. And... Uh, whether I like the movie or not, will it, it's debatable. Because sometimes I like the movie, sometimes I think that it's it it's crap. Doesn't deserve to be a movie. And <laughs> I know that there's people who like the movie, but sometimes I'm just not a fan. I'm not going to name anybody, any movie, anybody. Why did I say anybody? It's not <laughs> a movie. Is not a person. Um, but, but I'm not going to name any movies that I, I truly, like, dislike, uh, just for the main fact that I don't want to think about them. I, I don't want to try and think about what movies I didn't like for one reason or another. I don't, I don't like thinking about that. I'd rather spend my time watching a movie that I like than trying to think about why I didn't like a movie. Which I suppose is a little bit of a bad habit, because then when people ask me, when somebody says, it's just like, oh, you want to see this movie? And I say, no, I don't like that movie. And they ask, really? Why? And it's just, I don't have an answer for it. I'd rather not, I just, I, I really would rather not dwell on the reason I dislike the movie, and I'd rather spend my time trying to find a movie that I do like. Because there's a lot of them that I like. I I watch... <laughs> I like movies. I If I tried to mo list every movie that I liked, I, I wouldn't be able to do it. I... Whoa. Um, I, I, I don't even really have my favorite movies. I mean, there are movies that I, I, I will watch more often than other movies, but... I can't really say in good confidence whether I like a movie over another movie. This music is different. I've never heard this music before. It is really hard to keep talking because there's a popcorn th kernel in my throat and... <clears throat> Sorry about that. It's it's still there, but it, it's moved a little bit. Mm, this is kind of a long episode, but I, I just I don't know why I I did this. It's just I I wanted to talk about this. I wanted to speak my mind about this, and sure we got nothing accomplished, nothing done, but. That's that's okay. I'm I'm fine with that. Um, I'm I'm fine with not doing anything. I'm I'm fine with just running around in Minecraft talking for now. I promise you this will not be a common occurrence. Uh, the last two episodes were me just running around because I wanted to fill out my map, and that was the only way to do it is to run around and instead of just coming back with a completed map and being like la look what I did I'd rather record and get footage out of it and cuz I mean 
I don't think there was anything meaningful said, but I'd, I'd like to hope that it had some meaning to... somebody? Probably just myself. But I mean, I truly, I love playing a game and and talking while I do it. There, are, I know there are moments where I go quiet, um, and and I apologize for those. But I mean, hey, everybody has their off moments, and it. I'm not a perfect caster. Um, I mean. There, I may have like I, I have like 140 subscribers, but all of my videos only get like 20, 30, 40 at most views, which means I've got like a hundred subscribers that don't even watch my videos. And that makes me, well, that makes me a bit sad, because I mean, what's the point of subscribing to somebody if you're not even gonna watch their videos? I mean. I <laughs> listen to the hypocrite. Uh, I'm subscribed to like two people I don't even watch, but I mean, well, I watch sometimes, but I I don't watch all their videos. But I mean, there's I'm I'm certain that many of my subscribers don't even watch any of my videos, and I'm I'm okay with that. I'm <laughs> if I was putting these videos up for I don't know what what would you call it fame I guess I don't know but if I was doing doing it for fame I'd I'd be doing it a lot better trust me I would I'd be doing I wouldn't be doing this I wouldn't be running around randomly and talking for I don't even know how long I've been going um like over almost half an hour, I guess, but I wouldn't be doing this. I would be doing something meaningful. I would be, or at least trying to do something meaningful, but that's not the reason I'm doing this. I, I do this because I have fun. I like to, to play games and to be able to share my experience with other people. It's, it's nice to just play games and, like, just have <laughs> the, what, six, seven of you who actually comment? <laughs> and I have to, honestly, I have to thank you all. Um, there's Anonymous and, oh goodness, I'm going to actually look it up because... <laughs> I, or lowercase, what is your name? Gosh. Channel, videos. No, not, no, ah. Trying to do stuff on my, both hands, both hands. <laughs> I'm multitasking. We'll just go to inbox. Comments. Lowercase 10, there we go. <laughs> I thought it was lowercase something. I was like, lowercase, lowercase, what is it? There's like lowercase and then there's something after it or before it. Um, but, uh, um, Lepter vote, like, and then there's, um, Tony XXXification, the Jude for the win, Colonel Crazy, awesome name, um, but I mean, Sure, there's there's not many of you who comment. I'm sorry if I'm missing other people. There's best player ever who I think is new to my sub or at least a new commentator. I've never seen that one. P Private Zrobo, um, Little Manish, uh, Pone Master One O Nine. That's weird. You have a bunch of capitalizations and stuff in your name. And Uber Trent, um, then there's comments on videos, who comments a lot, or used to. I haven't seen you comment in a while. 
I don't know. Maybe you're out of town. I, I don't pay attention. I really don't. I I hardly pay attention to my own life. Why should I pay attention to other people's? Which is sad but true. I, I really... I, I hardly pay attention to my life sometimes. I'm just... I'm living. There you go. I should go put this stuff away. Geronimo, this fall doesn't kill me, but it hurts. I don't know why I jump. Um, let's see, where shall we put all of this clay? Do I have any clay? I have not picked up any clay, have I? Nope. Whoa, mushroom. Um, I know these mushrooms go in here, though, and the flowers that I picked up. The seeds can go in there. The sapling can go in there. The feather. Eggs. Paper. The cloth. Oh, I put the sand in there. Oh, oh well. Go be with your other sand buddies. Um, I'll just put all of this clay in here. But, I'm sorry to whoever I'm missing. I'm just looking at the most recent comments. Um, but I, I really want to thank you all. that Because I, I, I do like feedback. I, I don't need it. I don't really... I'm not asking for... Well, <laughs> I am... I technically do ask, but it's like, that's just out of habit now. I just like saying that. Click, comment, rate, subscribe. I have no idea why I say click, so don't even ask. It's like, something needed to go go there, and click was what found its way in. And I, I just went with it. <laughs> but, <clears throat> yeah. Um, speaking of that... I'd like to thank you all for watching and listening to me rant and watching me run around and kind of just explore my world a little bit more. Um, you can see the glowing under the sea ice. Um, but yes, I'd like to thank you. I just said, uh, now I'm repeating myself. <sighs> Click, comment, rate, subscribe. Fox out.